So for that, first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK download. And the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com forward slash Java forward slash technologies forward slash download. So just click on this link. I'm going to provide this link in the description of this video also. So you can directly come to this website. And here you just need to scroll down. At the time of making this video, Java 17 is the latest version which is available for download. So when you scroll down, you will see the option to uh, download the Linux binaries or the Mac OS binaries or the Windows binaries, right? So we are going to select Windows from here and then we are going to select the exe option here. So just select the link which is in front of the installer option here. So click on this uh, link here. So just wait for the download to complete. And once this exe file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this exe file and let me minimize my browser. So first of all, you will see this kind of window which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I trust this app, so I will click on yes. And now I can see the Java JDK installer has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. So here you just need to click on the next button. And this will be the default location where Java will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. Just remember this location. So by default, it's installed in C, then program files, then it's going to create a Java directory in program files folder. And then there will be a JDK 17 folder or the name of the folder will be the version of JDK you are installing, right? So if you want to change this path, just uh, click on change and then uh, change the destination. Otherwise, if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next, which is going to start the installation of Java on your Windows 11 operating system. So at this point, you just need to wait for uh, this process to complete. And in few seconds, you can see the Java JDK has been installed on my Windows 11 operating system. So I'm going to close this window. That means Java is installed on my Windows 11 operating system, but still I have to do a few things. First of all, I'm going to just go to the location where Java is installed. So just uh, open your folder explorer and then uh, go to the C directory. And then I'm going to go to the program files where Java folder is created. And then in my case, JDK 17.0.1, uh, is created in your case this folder name version can be different so just go uh, to this folder right now in order to set the environment variable for java what you need to do you can just click on the search icon once again and then just type edit env here which is going to show you this result which says edit environment variable for your account and it's going to open this kind of window you can also open this edit environment variable using control panel. So you can search for uh, control panel and then just view by category here and then click on system and security, then click on system. And then once the system window opens, you can click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables, which is also going to show you the same window, right? So, you can choose any method to open this uh, environment variable window. And once this is open, you need to click on the path environment variable under system variables and then click on edit. And here you need to add the path to your JDK folder binaries. So go to the folder where we have installed Java until a JDK folder and then click on uh, bin folder. So we need to go inside the bin folder inside this JDK folder and then copy the path, right? So until bin and then copy this path from here, go to uh, the environment variable window once again, and then you can double click here or you can click on new, which is go also going to show you this option. And then just paste this path until bin and then press enter which is going to add this path to your environment variables. So click on OK. So your Java environment variable is set. Now some application also needs the Java home environment variable on your Windows operating system 
to uh, run them. So let me show you how you can set the Java home environment variable also. So you can go at the top under user variable uh, section and then click on new here. And then the variable name you need to provide here is Java underscore home. Everything is capital. Just write whatever I have written here. Everything is in capital. And the variable value will be the folder which we have opened, which is uh, JDK folder. So don't go inside the bin folder in this case. Just copy the path until JDK folder. You don't need to go inside the bin folder in this case. Okay. And then just paste this path under variable values. Okay. So you can see there is no bin folder added here. Only the path until the JDK folder. Click on OK and then click on OK and then click on OK which is going to set the environment variable for Java on your Windows 11 operating system. Now once you have installed Java and set the environment variables you can use Java on command line so you can uh, just open the command prompt by typing cmd once again and then I can type Java space hyphen uh, version here and it's going to show me the version of Java. So you can see Java version 17.0.1 is installed on my Windows 11 operating system. Now if you want to compile a Java file, you can use the Java C command. So you can just write Java C space hyphen version here and then press enter. And you can see the Java C version is also same. So as I said, you can use Java C to compile a Java file on your Windows 11 operating system. So now let us see how we can compile a Java file which is present on our Windows 11 operating system. So for that, generally we use some IDEs like Eclipse or IntelliJ IDEA or NetBeans or Visual Studio Code. But let me also show you how you can uh, uh, compile a raw Java file using this command prompt. So for that, what you need to do, just go to the location where you want to have your Java file. So let me create a new folder here and then I'm going to just uh, create a Java apps folder for example here. Now here we will create a new Java file. So I'm going to just uh, right click here and then click on new. For now I'm going to click on text document and then I'm going to name it as uh, hello, which is going to create a new text document. The next step is to change the file type. So here the file type is text document, but we want to create a Java file, right? So for this, you can click on view option and then click on show and then click on the file extension. So file name extension, which is going to show you the file extension, which is hello.txt. You need to change this extension by just uh, right clicking here and then you can uh, rename this file as hello.java and then press enter which is going to show you this warning, click on yes, which is going to change this uh, file type to Java file. So we have this hello.java file. You can open this file using notepad or any other uh, tool. So let me open this file by clicking on open with and then uh, I'm going to choose notepad for this. So once this uh, notepad is open, I'm going to just type a very simple uh, Java program here. The one thing to note here is the name of the file. So my na file name is hello.java. You need to write the class name and the file name same. So if you give the file name hello, then your class name should be same as hello, right? So this thing you need to keep in mind. If you name it as uh, something else, for example, test.java, then your class name should be test here okay so once you have uh, pasted your code just save it and then close it and then uh, you can open the command prompt once again and then you can copy the path where your uh, hello.java file is present and then on terminal just write cd and then paste the path and then press enter and in order to compile this java file just type java c space and then the name of the file which is hello.java and then press enter which is going to compile your hello.java file. So once the compilation is done, 
you will see that this hello.class uh, file is created. This is the executable file which you can run in order to uh, get the output of your hello.java file, right? So to run this, you can just type Java, not Java C. To run a Java executable, you use a Java command. In order to compile a Java file, you use a Java C command. So Java C is for compilation, Java is for running the Java file, right? So type Java and then just type hello, okay? You don't need to provide hello.class here. You just need to type Java space hello. Don't write hello.class, right? And then press enter, which is going to show you the output of the file which you have for your Java program. So in my case, it was just uh, printing hello world. So you can see the output here. So this is how you can uh, use Java C and Java for running a Java file. So this is how you can download and install and use Java to run some Java program on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.